How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, and today we're just uh, doing some bass fishing and with a bass jig. This is a three, three eighths ounce bass jig. And then of course we gotta do the frog. Um, hopefully we could get onto these big ones. And uh, I know typically I, I I've said in my last video, either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday is when I'm going to be uh, putting the videos up and everything. Uh, but uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And let's see if we get on the big ones. I'm going to start out with the frog before moving on to the bass jig. Because if I start out with the bass jig first and then move to the frog, the frog is going to feel extremely weird. So, oh, oh, let's get on to it. Please, uh, if you guys could take a minute to subscribe to my channel. Oh, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So I would love to do this full time. And so let's definitely see if we can get onto these guys. I mean, it is raining just a tad bit, but not much. I'm gonna go like a little bit a ways down, go back and grab my uh, bass jig. I mean, typically in cloudy conditions, you want to kind of use a darker color, but I got a bit of a lighter color here. And it doesn't mean I still won't be able to catch them. So. We're just gonna see how well the uh, frog's gonna do. If not, then I'm gonna put it back into my car and then let's continue to use the bass jig. Knowing that it's rain, uh, a little bit rainy, uh, we should get onto something. Even if it's just like one top, uh, top water bite, I mean. I was fishing yesterday and uh, one of my trailers, uh, one of my last trailers actually <laughs> got and uh, ate up badly. So luckily I had a little bit of money left to be able to get new trailers. So try not to litter. So this is a dark blue with a little bit of black. And so I'm going to add like a kind of like a green pumpkin. I think it is. I think this is a green pumpkin. I hate when these things turn on you like that. That's one of the things I don't like about bass jigs is how the hooks are. So we're going to re, uh, re hit all the spots that we just went through and see if we could get, uh, even if it's one, I, I don't really care uh, because typically there's some on this point.
Typically, I would use like a, uh, more of a uh, moving bait, but I wanted to see how well uh, the bass jig would uh, perform. Because I really haven't tried before. But before, I never was really into bass jigs. But because I actually uh, got into using bass jigs, um, I figured, why not give it a shot? It's raining. It's a nice day. Most people avoid going out in the rain, uh, fishing in the rain, but I love fishing in the rain. Honestly, even even when it's like a bad day, like not really. I probably will just bring my uh, frog with me, but. I was fishing yesterday and uh, one of my trailers uh, one of my last trailers actually got uh, and uh, ate up badly. So luckily I had a little bit of money left to be able to get new trailers. So try not to litter. So this is a dark blue with a little bit of black and so I'm gonna add like a kind of like a green pumpkin I think it is I think this is a green pumpkin I hate when these things turn on you like that That's one of the things I don't like about bass jigs, is how the hooks are. So we're going to re, uh, re hit all the spots that we just went through. And see if we could get, uh, even if it's one, no, no, I don't really care. Because typically there's some on this point. like someone broke a pole. There's one. Ah! Oh. Then react in time. I mean, even though I don't like throwing a bass jig alongside seaweed and lily pads, all that much. Uh, a lot. A lot of times, I know I have no choice but to do so. All right. So we're gonna get all the way to that bush over there, and then we're gonna just gonna cut come all the way down and go to the uh, go more over there to the right and uh, stop making cast and see if we could get because uh, uh, yesterday I uh, I shouldn't say yesterday early earlier this week Not a big one, but a good way to start off the video. Kind of got them in the eye a bit, but nice size one. Well, not really a nice size one. It's a little baby, but it'll do. 
try to get as close as you can to that bush. All right, so be good now. This one's a heavy one. There we go. Oh yeah. Close to two pounds. Took my trailer, but it's okay. Got more. There's one. It's a little one, but big ones can't be choosers. You can't always catch the big ones. So, this is the one. Give it a little toss. Uh, because sometimes they will look down to see what. Let's move in. So, with bass jigs, sometimes you really do want to like, like kind of like have it. Uh, I'm trying to get this seaweed off. I, I get there. We go. Uh, so they will have it nose down, and they will look at it, and then a lot of times they will just pick it up, try to move it, or actually try to eat it. So, um, so having the uh, bass jig kind of settle down a bit. Uh, can help out a lot, so keep that in mind. Okay, don't start moving at the moment that it like hits the water. Sometimes you gotta let it settle down. All there, one. Uh, not a big one, but oh yeah, it is. Or is this running? Ever since running. There we go. <sighs> nice size one right there. I thought it was a small one by the way it was running. I didn't realize it was running, so like I just automatically assumed it was a small one. Because I'm so close to uh, the seaweed and everything. I'm gonna have to fix this. One of the ways I like to fix it is I just flip it over a little bit and then place it right down. So. Let's see if we can get something out here. Let it settle down for a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, you got to be kidding. Okay, so it was just only nibbling. So we're going to have to right back in there. Not a big one, but... I've like literally lost count of how many fish I've caught. So we're gonna do it again. Up and over. Like it was like taking it away Oh, right underneath his chin. And, oh, it got off. So today has turned out to be a very good day. I mean, as soon as I get over to that point, um, oh my God, that's too much. Like nine times out of 10, you want them to like, like, uh, not nine times out of 10, but sometimes you want them to chase your bait, the frog. Like, I'm glad to see that the water level has actually risen, so. Probably won't be able to do the frog today, guys. Because I got in, like, my muscles are so used to throwing that 38 three bass jig. Let us sit there for a sec. Yeah, I don't think they're going for uh, frogs today, guys, so. There's one! <laughs> it's running. Oh yeah, get up here! 
The mason blow up. I was running hard too. Oh my god. Decent size. The frog. Like, I'm glad to see that the water level has actually risen, so. Probably won't be able to do the frog today, guys. Because I got in, like, my muscles are so used to throwing that 3 8 bass jig. Let us sit there for a sec. Yeah, I don't think they're going for uh, frogs today, guys, so. There's one! <laughs> it's running. Oh yeah, get up here! <sighs> the mason blow up. Running hard too. Oh my God. I'm trying to get right there. Wow. 
What is going on today? Does this video alone? Hey, like, typically I can't even really catch that much on a uh, regular day. And that's why I love, uh, I love fishing in the rain. And because you never know what you're gonna get. But I'm definitely taking that, uh, that blow up on the frog. I'm definitely putting that on YouTube, on uh, YouTube shorts.